Hello my friends! Today we will be making a Cubic Clash video, my very very first one. Another game we're testing and we're playing and this time it's not my fault. Let's just blame this guy, Gunman69. He said, hey Droop, go check out Cubic Clash, it's a fun game, you will like it, we can use a tier list. Yeah. Now I'm stuck with it. So yeah, it's a nice game. I enjoy it. Uh, we'll go over the game in general later on. Today we will be talking about a killer build which will win you every game. Okay, my friends, besides Gunman69, other people also asked me, make a video about Cubic Clash. So here we are. This is the deck I want to talk about and let's start with our main damage dealer slash Wayne. Pretty cool guy with a whip and he will put bleeds on the enemy monsters and um, the monsters that are bleeding will receive extra damage. Then we have Blasto, he will drop mines all over your lane, so we've seen that before. Then Master Tai, he's like, uh, yeah he's kind of special, like he will level up your one of your units but it will have a chance to give extra levels so it's a utility unit space time switcher he will make sure we can put our slash wanes where we want them and then we have replicator if you ever played rush royale you will know that this is harlequin or the equivalent of harlequin then we have those pinky and taffy at the bottom those are like um, replacements if you don't have Master Tie or Replicator because they might not be so easy to get when you first start. You can perfectly replace them by Pinky or Taffy. They are almost the same with a little bit of difference but the deck definitely works and you can use it that way until you have Pinky and Taffy. And the last replacement we can do is for Blasto. A lot of people are playing a similar deck more or less so for blasto you can put another damage dealer that you have that works well together with slash wayne or you can put a control unit like a slow or something like that there's plenty of options play around with it but uh, this one is the one i like and i am having great success with it so this is what i'm recommending right now okay so the gameplay has started in the meantime and we are facing a player that is playing a version of the top deck, the current top deck. The number one guy on the arena leaderboard is playing a version of that deck we are facing, so it's pretty strong. Uh, but yeah, let's see how we are going to do against it with our deck. Um, it was a pretty good matchup, I'll tell you that. Um, anyway, the gameplay. So as you can see, the green, the green guy, that's uh, slash Wayne, and his um, his range is very short. So we are trying to make sure he is hugging the sides all over the place. So when our mobs are uh, going to pass us, uh, that we can do maximum damage the entire time the mobs are um, are passing by slash Wayne. What a cool name. Slash Wayne. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, then we have our um, Blasto. He's uh, I'm, I'm like putting him in the back where, where we don't really need uh, slash Wayne's and I'm going to try and fill that up with Blastos and I want to get as much bombs as possible on my lane. And then I'm using my utility units to place my other cubes and to level up my uh, slash Wayne's and my Blastos. That's the main thing. As I said, you can swap out Blasto for um, for slow, so I, I think it will be more or less equivalent, but I really like the extra damage from the mines. Um, but play around with it and you will see it's a pretty solid deck right now. Another pointer, if you're uh, used to uh, playing these types of games, of, or especially Rush Royale, uh, don't forget or definitely don't be afraid to upgrade your units at the bottom. So don't be afraid to upgrade them. The, the way you get mana, in this game it's called SP, uh, goes a lot faster than I was used to at least. So work with that and make sure you upgrade your units because they will do a lot of extra damage. Uh, so that's pretty cool to get ahead in the game. 
Okay guys, so another good tip, how I started playing around with this deck and testing was because I found this. The little screenshot that just popped up. If you click on slash Wayne, you click on info, you will be able to see this screen and it's basically some sort of uh, mini quest or some kind. If you play slash Wayne together with um, space time switcher in the same deck, you will be receiving um, these legend tokens as you can see and with those legend tokens you can complete quests and at the bottom you can see like a, a bar that you need to fill with points legend token points and you get extra rewards the first reward will be an extra unit which you can use to level up slash wayne next my next reward will be gold and basically you can keep doing that to get extra rewards without having to pay for them so that's pretty cool okay there's a lot more to tell about cubic clash but uh, in this video i wanted to stick to the deck and and you know show you a first glimpse of the gameplay the gameplay we all know but you can already see some differences there's a lot more to see another tip i want to give you they offer a lot of stuff in the shop you know like buying for gems buying extra events uh, tokens they have so many things in the beginning hold off on that not all the passes they sell and whatever they're not all that great so take your time to look over them and and maybe if you want to you know spend a little bit make sure you spend on the right items and don't go all in straight away also i'm not really sure how pay to win this is towards the end game so keep that in consideration but it's a fun game it plays a lot smoother than other games i played in this genre and it has a lot uh, a lot of fun stuff to offer especially the co-op mode and the leaderboards are really cool really cool to participate in so definitely if you're looking for something new definitely check it out so this is basically it for this video i will be going over a lot more stuff in the near future but as always, I hope to see you guys very soon on the battlefield.